Comics is done with Emerald City Comic Con. And I am exhausted, but I am happy. And today was the second day I went, Sunday, and got some more stuff to show you. You've been kind of seeing the books through my prep videos. Might have seen some of the new books I wanted to get signed today during my haul video. Uh, just went up recently. I did three videos yesterday. Um, but yeah, man, I had a good time. And uh, lots of shout outs to do and lots of cool things going on. So let's get right into it. Um, I have no idea what this is, but I always grab the freebies. Uh, this lady, I cannot quite read her name. Sheenan, Seanan McGuire. S it's Sean A N S E A N A N. Shannon Seanan. I'm really getting off to a good start with this video. Uh, the girl in the green silk gown. Little short comic. I got it. Had her sign it to my sons. I figured that's pretty cool because it's free. Uh, if you know anything about me, you know that I'm a huge huge Lumberjanes fan, and I got this print that Marja Leho, Leho had done. She is the colorist on Lumberjanes, and this basically is every magical creature and every monster that the girls in the uh, cabin have had to deal with throughout the entirety of the 47 issues that have come out so far. They're coming up to number 50 soon with like a uh, some cool variants, a full uh, foil, um, gold foil wraparound cover, and some other cool variants. So I'm excited to get those if my LCS can uh, bring them in. Speaking of Lumberjanes, another creator on Lumberjanes, Aubrey Aisi, um, had tons and tons of variants. I remember she had variants last year that I got. So I got all these cool variants um, to Lumberjanes, uh, and she's selling them super cheap, man. This is number 12. Um, you can see Aubrey, sorry, Aubrey and Marta here signed it. They're both obviously were at Comic Con today. Um, so it was pretty cool. Another great cover here. And this one is one of the variants to number one, which I believe are actually going for a bit of money on uh, the old eBay there. At least they're being sold knows if anybody's actually buying them. We'll see. This one is my absolute favorite cover. This one is, I believe, number six. Number 15. And that one that I just showed you that was my absolute favorite cover isn't actually my favorite cover because this just beat it. Number 16. Um, I think that's just gorgeous little ding right down here my fingers touching little almost a spine roll happening you know i guess um she's not a doesn't have room to store this stuff or isn't a big collector I got the signature on the inside of that one but she was like yeah i'd love to get rid of these you know not like in a bad way but just she needs to get rid of them because they take up space and they're hard to carry around to the con and stuff so went with a little uh chardonnay today keep the throat nice and clear. We've got three games in a row coming out. We won our game Friday, by the way, if I didn't tell you. Uh, the team that I coached in middle school, uh, girls team is 34-0 and 0 over the last four seasons. So I think I get really good players, but I like to think I have something to do with it as a coach. So talking about LCSs, um, there are three local comic book shops in Tacoma and uh, one nearby in Puyallup, Spanaway. Uh, the ones in Tacoma are Atomic Comics, uh, Destiny City Comics, and Stargazer Comics, and the one in Puyallup is called Comics the Gathering. Uh, Atomic Comics was my original LCS. I had dropped them for a while to try to save money with a place at a discount, but just decided to go back to Atomic Comics because they had um, just excellent service, and I really liked the guys. So I talked to him. I knew he was going to be at the con, and uh, I was asking him if I can get some stuff for Claremont. I didn't pick this one up in time, but I now have a copy of 129, First appearance of Kitty Pride, first appearance of Emma Frost, the uh, Hellfire Queen. Um, it's in Mylar, so it looks really great. It's like a 5060, but he didn't charge me much, and he held on to it for me. I mean, he had a massive amount of comics, and he get, gets a huge table at Comic-Con. But he kept this one underneath at his site, so no customers could buy it, and he was holding on to it for me. So I really appreciate that excellent service uh, from Atomic Comics. Really great stuff. Funny thing is, I saw the owners or managers or workers of all the other three comic book shops just walking like around Comic-Con and stuff, and 
they all recognize me and said, hi, I think I spend too much time in comic book shops. I don't know, maybe you have the same problem. Um, Eric Kennedy did the uh, variant cover for 7 to Eternity number two. I'm not really too familiar with his work other than this, um, but this is just, just beautiful. So you can get that without the glare. Just some gorgeous artwork there. Um, really great series. They took a little break. I think Rick Remender was doing some of the Deadly Class scripts for the TV show that's going to come out. I think on Hulu, but I can't remember for sure. Um, but he's coming back with more 7 to Eternity. This one, I just, I had two or three copies of this. I'd forgotten to get it signed by Chris Anka. I got it signed by Jody Hauser. So I just brought this one back, and he was there, and he signed this one. I don't think you remember that I was there the other day. I did not bring this one um, on Thursday. I just got number zero, but uh, this is number one. Kyle Higgins signed that. Jim Zub and the uh, artist, I can't not remember his first name, Morris set down here. It's kind of dark and hard to see. Uh, Glitter Bomb, the fame game. This is like the second volume of, of Glitter Bomb that he did. It's a comic about fame and the trappings of fame. It's pretty cool. I got Donny Kate's signature on God Country 1 and on the image kind of homage uh, Savage Dragon variant number 2. It's pretty cool. My, my dad has, my dad having Alzheimer's is not cool, but my dad has Alzheimer's, so I got to talk to Donny Cates about that, because this whole comic, um, God Country, I haven't read it, it's amazing. It's about this man who's Alzheimer's, but he's given this magical sword, and it's kind of like he needs to defeat and fight the universe, and, you know, there's a lot of allegories and metaphors in there, um, but it, it's kind of cool. Uh, I picked this book up from one of the bigger sellers there for five bucks. I went and got Matt Rosenberg to sign it, and MR, so not that big of a deal. I got him to sign a lot of other stuff. You know, a little perturbed with, uh, I talked yesterday in the video about the guys who were charging for their autographs and had this company running their, their booth. I said, I don't mind them charging, um, but there's a whole row of people from Art Adams, Marguerite Bennett, um, Donny Cates, Ryan Brown. Ryan Brown was actually there the whole time. Matt Rosenberg, um, James Tinian, uh, Charles Soule, and... Uh, None of them got there until like 1 o'clock today. There are all these little signs. Some so-and-so will be signing at 1 or at 2. I'm like, Comic-Con starts at 10. Don't tell me you're going to be there four days a week, um, four, all four days, if you're only going to be there for half the day, right? If, if you get there at 2 o'clock, you're not there. So I had all these James Tinian books, the ones I got in the hall yesterday from Half Price Bookstore, and I just ended up not getting them signed because the line was getting long for him. I was tired. I wanted to get back to my family. It had been a long day. Um... So, you know, I just, I just gave up on that. It's a little, little perturbed that, like, they weren't there the whole time. And I know that they weren't all on panels. Um, I thought it could have been done better, especially since they're charging for signatures. You know, it's like the company was trying to maximize the efficiency of their time there and the money that they made or the amount of signings it did. I don't know. It had a weird taste in my mouth. It had a weird feeling to it. So I found this one. I know this one's been half price book. There's, like, three or four copies of them I got. Marguerite Bennett to sign it, but I did not get G. Wheeler Wilson because she was only there on Thursday, I believe. So I'll have to track her down. I picked this up um, at one of the shops on the the fifth, the fourth floor, main floor, and then ran back up. And uh, this is the third one I've gotten signed by Terry Moore, but I got him to draw Bick, one of the aliens from uh, the comic, and then he signed it down there. And Terry Moore is probably at a Every creator I met, just the most straightforward, unassuming guy. Um, you know, he's got fans coming up to him, they're totally into his stuff, and he's just like, yeah, and really, really pleasant and plain spoken and intelligent, and interesting, really great. Um, and because he self publishes all of his work and stuff, I guess he does it with his uh, t shirts too. So I hope you can see this without too much glare. Uh, you know, most. Most companies are selling t-shirts at $20, $25. This was $18, and I thought it was quality uh, quality print, Hanes Beefy T, nice black background, and just, you know, the two or the <laughs> one main character and two. I'm not going to tell you why they're not main characters. Read the series yourself. It's really amazing. Um, but I was pretty excited. I didn't get too much swag while I was there, but I uh, that was one thing I got. Um one of the creators, this is an anthology with three stories in it. It's Pitch Planet Triple Feature number two. And I'm embarrassed to say I don't know her name. I remember I remember not loving 
any of these stories, but just liking a lot of them. Um, so this one here called The Biological Clock, uh, you can see she signed it up there in the middle. It says, stay bitchy. I think that might be a middle finger sticking up, which is pretty cool. Um, and uh, Naomi Franquez, or Frank, Franquez, Franquez. Not sure. Apologize for that. So that was pretty cool. Um, it'd be great to get all the all the signatures and the creators in that. Uh, told you yesterday that the copy of this that I got signed was uh, crinkled. Turns out when I was actually putting my stuff away last night, I found out I had already purchased this. So I brought this back and uh, she did the Jughead uh, crown again and the signature down there. So that's pretty cool. That is one of the safer, not safe for work <laughs> variants. Uh, then I got to meet one of my, my all-time favorites. Um, Kelly Sue DeConnick is not just a great writer. She's just a great person. Her and, and Matt and what they do with their milk-fed criminal masterminds group is really cool. I picked this one up cheap, um, got her to sign that. I had like six copies of Bitch Planet number one, and uh, I got them from real cheap from Midtown Comics. So I already had two signed, so I had like six new ones. And uh, I gave them out to a few people online and uh, offered some to Kelly. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah. She goes, really? I'm like, yeah. She goes, I don't have these. I'm like, well, <laughs> now you can have one. So I feel good doing that. I think that stuff comes back to you because, you know, she signs lots of my stuff. Um, There's supposed to be a two comic limit, but I obviously got more than that. There's Matt Wilson, who's the colorist on this. This is the uh, Wicked variant, and Kelly Sue signed it down here. And another bitch plant number one. Uh, apologize if this um, offends anybody, but... She personalized it, which is really cool. And I know from her for Instagram and her Twitter that her son was into uh, robotics um, last year and did like a robotics summer camp. And I teach robotics. I also have written some books about robotics. So I uh, bought a, one of my books and I, and I signed it and I dedicated it to her son. And she was like, really thought that was cool. Um, and then uh, Got her signature on the Captain Marvel that'll go right next to my uh, Miss Marvel signed by G. Willow Wilson. All right, moving on. Um, just dum 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 dum. I got this signed by Ryan Brown, but I uh, did not get it signed by Charles Soule. And uh, he, he wrote, You're in trouble now, <laughs> cheeky young man. Um, so I just went back and I got that one signed by him. And then I totally fell for this. Uh, this is the Delato variant to Darth Vader number one, and he was selling it for 10 bucks. It was the last one left, and can you read that? No, last one. He said I could even keep the stickies, so I, I kept the stickies. Sorry, it's not the Delato, it's the Francesco Mattina variant. Um, not in stores, Ooh. So 10 bucks, uh, didn't spend much money today, uh, but that was it. That's most of the signatures I got, I, I think, so two dollars on all these Dr. Afris just from one of those places that was selling comics cheap. Um, I just, you know, I've, I haven't really been collecting Dr. Afra, but I've got enough odd ones because I got the first three in the series that for two bucks each, I'll pick up some of the rest. Um, I'll read it sometime. I love Jeff John's run on this, and so I actually had one through 19, so this is number 20 now, and uh, Ignore the six dollars that was a buck. I wouldn't have paid six dollars for that. If you haven't been reading Crosswind by Gail Simone, this is a great, um, great comic. I read the first two issues, I got three, four, and six. This is buy two at cover price, get uh, get one. So I gotta find uh, number five now, and then I think that's the first arc finished. Um, it's just pretty cool. Last booth of the day, I would kind of finished all my artist alley. I was walking around. This is where I spent not ridiculous money, but I, I did spend a bit of money. The guy just had some comics couldn't really find anywhere else. This is X-23, number one, by Craig Kyle and uh, Chris Yost. This is the variant. Um, this over here actually connects with the regular printing, which is more of a white background and the other half of her body, obviously. Um, so they had the two they had the two next to each other, right? And uh, that was pretty cool, but I could not afford both of those. I wasn't about to spend that type of cash. Figured get that right here. Um, love this variant. Looking at this online, and you know, I just don't 
always trust eBay if I, uh, I if I can get away with it. I wanted to get this one. Um, it was pretty cheap. I picked it up. I think that's pretty darn cool. X-23 is a great character. Miss Marvel is one of my favorite, as you know. And then the uh, Fred Hembeck. Um, this is Volume 4. Fred Hembeck variant, um, or tribute variant, I guess, of Miss Marvel number 2 from Volume 4. Need that one for the collection. And final thing of the day is uh, this heavy, heavy book that I lugged around. Got to meet Jamie Hernandez. This is a really cool guy. And he's got a little sign out there. Like most people have tons of stuff that they're selling. And he's just got like a table, a sketchbook with maybe four sketches in it, and a little sign that says fast sketch free, you know, small sketch 60, big full page color sketch um, 200. So I went to my favorite cover from back in the 80s when I was a kid. And he just did a quick sketch, signed his name. 2018 and there you go um, if you're not into love and rockets don't start collecting them they'll chase you forever but get some of the omnibus collections uh, amazing comic and what he was doing back in the 80s stories he was telling um, way ahead of his time really cool so that's it man comic-con is over I don't know when the next one's gonna be my wife likes Portland the kids like Rose City Comic Con it's a smaller show we may go down there next year um, we'll definitely do Jet City in Tacoma. That's a really great show. I uh, don't really know beyond that. we got some uh, toy fairs coming up. It's kind of like, you know, geek toy comic fairs coming up where there's no artists, just sellers. Um, but that's going to be it for, like, big videos and big hauls. Got to rein in the cash and the wallet a little bit and start reading and, you know, putting into Mylar and uh, sorting this stuff. So last thing I want to leave you guys with is up to 96 subscribers when I hit that 100 I've got a really cool idea for I think it's a really cool idea for contest who knows if it's a cool idea for contest but uh I got a contest in mind that I want to uh put out there so let me get 100 man if you're not subscribed please subscribe I uh, subscribe comment and you know have a great week guys I will talk to you later oh enjoy the close <laughs>